there everyone in this video we are going to talk about how to integrate algolia search api in our react application so let's start with it let's head over to the algolia website at algolia.com and if it's your first time using algolia then you have to create your account by clicking on this start free and if you already have your account then just click on the login and once you have created your account then it will take you to your account dashboard and if it's your first time using algolia here you will have the application which will be named as my first application and let's now click on search tab over here here you will have the index initially you won't have any index over here it will be just empty you will have no records no events no index size or anything the index is like a database here you will provide the data that you want to search for to create a new index what you have to do is click on this new tab and then on index and then here provide the index name that you want to and after you have created your index you will find your index over here and after you are done creating the index the next step is to add the records a record is an object you add to an index and want to search for it and i'll show you one record when we click on this edit record this is the record okay and here my attributes are name description brand categories price images popularity and object id and your record can contain any number of attributes here i am using the sample data set which have been provided by algolia to add your records click on this add record tab and then you will have variety of options such as add connector or you can add manually upload the file or use the api if you want to if you are adding manually then you have to provide your records in the json format and similarly when you want to upload the file it should be the json file and once you have created your application you have created your index you have provided the records now the next step is to grab the api keys so for that you have to go in this setting option and then here the api keys and here you will have your application id and then two api keys such as search only and admin api key which we will need further on and in the vs code i have my react app open this is just the basic app i haven't done anything yet open the terminal and then install algolia search and react instance search by running the command npm install algolia search react dash instance search this will allow us to interact with the algolia search api and after it's done let's close the terminal and in the app.js file we start by importing the algolia search from the algolia search light package then we will import the instance search and search box from the react instance search package these components are provided by algolia for building search interfaces in react application we then also import an external css file named app.css which will be used to style our application then we also initialize a variable search client using the algolia search api and inside it we provide our application id and our search api key this application id and the api key are needed to be kept secret so what we will do is use dot env file in the terminal run the command npm i dot env and you will have the dot env package installed after it's done create the .env file in the root directory of your project and in the .env file add your application id and the api key here just like this don't forget to add react app at the start because it's essential because it is used to indicate that these variables are used for react applications and once you have added these variables let's save the file and then in the app.js file instead of using our application id and the api key over here what we will do is create two constant variables algolia app id and algolia api key and then we extract environment variables from the process.env object and in the search client variable pass the algolia app id variable and algolia api key variable instead of actual id and key and also don't forget to add the .env file inside the .git ignore file we can use API keys just like this, but it has been suggested and it's a best practice to use a backend proxy server when working with APIs. Store your API key in the backend such as like Node.js. Don't use them from your frontend. 
and then create and export the function app and then in the return statement we return the instant search component which takes search client and index name as prop provided by the Algolia react instant search library in the index name provide the value that you have given to your index so the instant search component uses the specified search client to interact with the algolia search api and searches for the data within the content we also have a search box component with the class name container which is just used to center the component now save the file and open the terminal and in the terminal run the command npm start to start the server and your server will start at localhost 3000 and there you have this search box but here you will see that we don't have any results yet because we haven't provided the hits or you can say search result so let's start with it before going further, I will suggest that you follow along with me with this Algolia React Instant Search documentation. I will provide this documentation link in the description box. So as you scroll down here, you will find how to display the hits. For displaying the hits, we have to use the hits widget. So we first have to import the hits from the React Instant Search library and then create a hit function which is a custom react component that represents how each search result or hit should be displayed in the ui it takes hit as a prop where the hit contains the data of the search result inside the hit component the data from the hit object is displayed such as items image name brand description and price this is the data that you have provided in your json format or you have added to it as a record on algolia and then in the function app we call the hits with the hit component as a prop so in the code first import the hits at the top just like this and then create a function hit that takes hit as a prop and then display the search result or the hit inside the written statement inside the hit component the data from the hit object is displayed including the items image name brand description and price and in the app function bring the hits components after all is done let's save this file and head back to the localhost 3000 and there you will have your data displayed so now when you search for iphones you can see that it's working correctly or when we search for google you will see that it's giving us the google phones and if we search samsung you will have the phones appear here and when we scroll down you will see that we have 20 records at our first page and we can even highlight our search results just like this so for it what we have to do is we have to import the highlight widget at the top with the hits and then the highlight component is used for displaying search result with the highlighted matching terms import the highlight at the top the highlight component takes two props attribute and hit attribute will specify the name of the attribute in the hit object that should be highlighted in this case attribute equal to name indicates that the name attribute of the hit object should be highlighted hit represent the search result for which you want to highlight the specified attribute. You can highlight whatever attribute you want from the data that you have provided to the Algolia. Once done, let's save the file and let's refresh the site one time. And then in the search box, let's type Samsung and there you will have your data being highlighted for whatever attribute you have provided now let's suppose that you have a huge data but as you can see here that when we scroll down it just shows 20 records right so how can we show other records present in our data simple answer to this we can paginate our result by default algolia will only provide 20 hits that will show on your application but you can change this using this pagination widget you have to first import it at the top and then in the function app you have to just call this pagination component so let's do this in our code let's call this pagination widget and then in the function app call this pagination okay let's save this file let's refresh this one time and you will see that it has provided the pagination okay and when we scroll down you will have this pagination over here but as you can see it's not looking very good 
right so what we can do is we can style this and here i have applied the css for the pagination and i'll show you what i have applied to the css here you will have this pagination list and pagination list li so this is the css for the pagination and there when we refresh this you will already see over here that we have now pagination looking perfect so when we click on second it will take us to the second page by default algolia just provide us 20 hits but you can increase that too with the help of configure widget just import it at the top and then call it down here to our code let's just bring this over here configure so here configure component is taking hits per page as a prop set it to the whatever number you want so once this is done save the file and head back to the localhost 3000 let's refresh this one more time and when we scroll down you will have this 40 records over here and when we search for some phones and scroll down you will have now 40 iphones listed over here so that's how you use algolia instant search with react you can even do more than this for that what you have to do is just follow this documentation thoroughly and that's all for this video i hope you found this video helpful and if you did don't forget to like and comment if you have any doubts please do not hesitate to reach out to me and i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye and take care